The rail project's latest progress report is out, and it contains information that supports, supports both sides of the great rail debate. KITV4's Andrew Pereira takes a look at the estimated cost of rail contracts and the possibility of federal funding in our top story at 1030. The Rail Project September Progress Report is a 59-page update on the $5.3 billion system, but is the current estimate on target. In the July report, concerns were raised about the design-build project cost forecasting. Those concerns remain. The September report says, quote, the grantee's current estimate at completion does not accurately provide an assessment of the contract costs. Part of the problem is the limited geotechnical information available to design the city center guideway. Ben Cayetano says the latest monthly report mirrors his concerns. The city does not know what the, uh, the, the, the final segment downtown is going to cost. They can't know because they don't have the final engineering plans. They haven't done the underground borings and all of that. The September progress report also notes other potential pitfalls that could increase the cost of rail. The acquisition of land in the so-called banana patch area of Pearl City, the late turnover of rights of ways, and changes to baseline documents. All four items have a 90% probability of occurring, according to the September report. However, the document also says the city has received $62 million in federal funds and remains in line to receive a total of $1.55 billion. Kirk Caldwell says the project will finish on time and on budget. I believe that we can afford to build this system. We have two sources, the excise tax, we're ahead of collections, and the federal money. And we're going to build this system and there will be no mortgage, no debt at the end of it. The September Progress Report says the rail project is now 7.9 percent complete. But the mayor's race between Caldwell and Cayetano could decide if it ever gets to the finish line. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News. And Andrew tells us that the latest prog monthly progress report also says 184 out of the 215 parcels or easements have been acquired so far, and of those, 23 are ready for construction.